Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys me raising my Cornish Crosser chickens. I'm going to be raising these chickens in a city setting. In my previous video I showed you guys how I built the chicken coop for these chickens. The chickens are moved in now and they're about three weeks old and I'll be raising them in this coop till about seven and a half weeks. All right, checking on the chickens. I got my game camera set up. I did forget to set it last night, so hopefully the chickens are all good. All right, everyone's all alive. Let's check them out. With this batch of Cornish Crossers, I'm experimenting a little bit with their diet. I just added some mealworms to their food bowl, and I'm gonna be feeding this batch a lot of greens from the garden. I made this table barricade for the door of the coop just to ensure at night that no predators break their way in through the side of the coop. I'm gonna give them some dried mealworms today. If you're looking to get into raising meat chickens, Cornish Crosser is the starting breed and one of the more easier breeds to start with. I pretty much check them once or twice a day. I have my feeding and watering routine and I apply new bedding on a daily basis. Some negatives I've had with these birds is they are prone to leg issues. With this batch, I started out with 18 chicks. One chick arrived dead and the other one arrived with a leg issue, leaving us with 16 birds to start. The chickens are so hungry that they're jumping up at the fence because they want food that badly. Let me in. I don't have any food. You're crazy. You're sorry. Here's an insight on my daily routine with these Cornish Crossers. When the chickens are young, I feed them every day. I feed them once in the morning, regardless of if they run out of food by the end of the day. I don't measure the amount of feed by weight or anything, I just eyeball it. And with this batch, I focus on not feeding them as much. And I found that they grow just as much, or even faster, than when I was feeding them more on the last batch. I'm feeding them nature's best organic feed, which I'll then top with greens from the garden, and occasionally top with mealworms as well. Since I'm unable to use a chicken tractor, I want to emulate foraging as much as I can. Alright, gonna check on the Cornish Crossers. They're getting really big and really hungry. Every morning they rush the door for me. So check in on the Cornish Crossers this morning. All right, Cornish Crossers, a little over six weeks. This chicken on the right here has got a bit of an injury. You can see how it's favoring one side and how much smaller it is than the other chickens. It has an injured leg, so we might have to process it early. I'm kind of just letting nature take its course and hopefully it will make it, but the other chickens are starting to gang up on it and peck it and not let it eat. So we might have to process it early even though it is a little smaller. The other chickens are getting close to processing time. You can see how big they are. I just weighed one, it was about six pounds, 10 ounces. Hopefully get to our goal weight of seven to eight pounds before process date. So maybe looking at a process date, end of next week, early the following week. All right, processing day has arrived. Starting the day off right with some good omens of this rainbow. We have 16 birds to process today. Luckily the chicken with the bad foot ended up making it to the final process day. I'm not gonna be showing any of the processing because YouTube doesn't like that type of content. If you have any questions about the processing part, just let me know in the comments below. This was my most successful batch of raising the Cornish Crosser chickens, and I have to attribute that to not feeding them as much. 
Following the process day, I was on a little camping trip and decided to cook one of these fresh hens, traditionally in a Dutch oven under an open flame. It was quite the experience raising these chicks, processing them, and cooking them to eat in a traditional way. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.